Hello YouTube viewers and welcome to the Ballon Parkway double O gauge layout extension project phase 3 part 13. Just a little addition here, I've actually put a sign on the cement works um, silos. Uh, this came with it, the actual fascia here which I've sprayed white and I bought these transfers from the uh, Alexander Palace Model Railway Show back in March um, at the exhibition there. Uh, these are water slide transfers, but um, they make that look really good. They set that off quite well, so I stuck it on there. I was thinking about sticking it on the front side here, but I think it suits it more suitable on this side. So it's actually named now as a uh, blue saddle. Cement Just works. a small addition here, I've actually added another signal. This is a four aspect signal from CR Signals. Uh, it's the only four aspect signal I've got on the layout, but it's quite a distance from the other signal down the line. So this is on the main down line. Uh, this is really good value for money actually. You've got a little cage here where the ladder is and uh, it's all painted. I've just stuck some of the um, signage on there for the identification of the signal where it's at and the signal telephone box there for the uh, signal box also a relay box which is spray painted, just got to weather that and not quite finished this, there's a little tube which connects the actual uh, conduit if you like it uh, the cable in underneath to connect the signal to the rest of the signalling uh, complex. I've got to start work on this bit down here where the trunking is so that's all connected together but um, as I've done a couple of these uh, devices I've installed uh, Heathcote Electronics it's called a, a um, detector sequencer that picks up the motion of the train so basically if I put my hand over there it'll go to red so when the train passes it'll go to red and then it'll work its way down on a timer uh, which is underneath I'll just show you roughly that's the circuit board there it's on a timer that'll go through the timer and then you get the change of the signal eventually uh, that'll go to uh, a double oh, there you go single aspect amber and then go to double and then green so I think it's quite suited there actually so it was quite good as well just outside the cement works so we've got a little warning there just an amber warning I'll come on to double amber soon there you go and eventually to green so that's the only four aspect signal I've got but uh, it's a nice little bit of kit I think See our signals, quite reasonable price as well. Just take you through what I've been doing in the actual whole cement plant works. This is the side and adjacent. I've actually ballasted the track. Uh, this side was quite a fine ballast. I've also um, put corrosion on the rails, on the outside of the rails there. Quite a deep corrosion. These are quite old siding, so I've done a darker uh, brown on there. I've just put the O3 shunter on there for you wagons just to test it out. Works perfectly. Got to be weathered, of course. It will be grubby, so I've got that to do with some um, grass and weeds growing out of it. That's at a later date. Also added to where the sidings are, these point leaves, which I've had for a while, and the boards here, uh, and they add to where they be um, switched on the points there manually There's, so every point around the cement works has got those so it looks just finishes that off quite well I've weathered those boards as well as I say all the tracks been ballasted now just needs weathering so uh, it's gauge master ballast to blow gauge and ballast bond to hold it into place so as you can see on each side this goes into the silo hopper and then down here into the engine sheds and at the other end where the quarry is going to be or the start of the quarry I put a um, 
very fine ballast down there, again got to be weathered. I've also attached and fitted two buffer stops at the end of the uh, cement works. This one here is from DCC Concepts and it's got an illuminated little oil light on there. Uh, the pack came with two, unfortunately I broke one, uh, but I managed to use the buffer somewhere else but the light doesn't work. But this is one that actually does work and it's, it's, it's really good, just finishes that off. It's already painted, just needs weathering a bit, but uh, quite a nice little light, just finished that little feature off there. The other side is another buffer, but this one's from CL Signals. Uh, this is a painted and weathered buffer. Again, it's got the little oil light on the top there, but this is illuminated on each side, so around the back, around the front. Slightly better model, I think, and it shows up really well in the dark. Just show you the latest addition to the layout uh, that I've bought, the latest building. This is an engine shed, and this is actually really a good quality model. Came by this by chance whilst on holiday. I uh, went to Minehead this year in North Somerset. Uh, as soon as we got to the Premier Inn there, there's a big sign saying Model Fair at Minehead, Model Railway Show. A uh, bit of a running joke with the family, but we did go there in the end and there was a chap selling these. He does this as a hobby, makes these and plus a vast array of different industrial buildings and sells them at shows and the quality of this is just as good as any major manufacturer it's just a superb model it's basically cardboard and uh, is it plaster card the corrugated roof section a really good model I'm really impressed with this uh, all I've done uh, some alterations there these doors here uh, little wooden doors on the side, I've altered them to sort of steel type doors uh, with the push bars on the outside, uh, inside sorry, uh, as it would be. <coughs> the fire exit signs aren't of that period of modelling, the 70s, mid 70s to early 80s. Uh, I do know that because I work in the industry regarding fire exit signs, so uh, at the time I assumed there'd be a, like a red colour. Uh, this Rooney Man sign didn't come in until early late 90s to early 2000s so um, I've just changed the doors on there I've stuck these transfers from um, Ten Commandments I've had them for years actually but um, this is a really good model I'm really pleased with this and it suits the environment of which it was meant for which is the shunter which I've actually got off of eBay that's the, another video I've got to make uh, this is going to be housed in here. It's an industrial shunter for the actual cement works. Uh, put some lights in here. It's going to be wired up, which I'll do a video at a later date. So um, this is £25. And I say it's just as good as any, say, um, major manufacturer of this type of model. The standard superb. Uh, yeah, I'll just go give you a quick name mention. It's um, Western Models. Uh, the chap's uh, an actual freight train driver, an instructor. Quite an interesting conversation I had with him. Uh, really chatty as well. His wife actually makes model allotments as well, double O gauge. Uh, they're both into it together so um, the standard workmanship is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So that's my latest edition and um, as I say at these shows you come across stuff you don't normally see and uh, here's one of them. I've extended the road here which links up to the loading bay down the far end so vehicles can approach. So basically this road goes all the way at the back of the silos down here and links up with a waybridge which is from Backman. Again, this is a really good model. Comes with a little porter cabin here as well for the office. Uh, very good model. Uh, really impressed with this. I'll put some lights in there. Again, it's got to be wired up. Uh, the road is basically a filler. 
which I've just I put some little clamps at the side here and filled it uh, different layers and I broke it up to make down a, a concrete type roadway which is falling apart which we will get with heavy vehicles coming in and out here uh, as they approach the way bridge there so that's from Backman Seamcraft the way bridge and the uh, road is made with filler which connects to a tarmac road which is filthy uh, this is from Jarvis I've had this for a while in a drawer so I just stuck this down and that merges with the uh, main road which I'm going to do sort of um, uh, a giveaway sign down there at some stage so that's an ongoing project but um, it's coming on quite nicely just there. What I'm going to do this area there's going to be an office block here uh, waiting for um, a re-release of a Batman two-story office I think they come with lights now as well uh, so it'll suit the period really well so that's going to go there and perhaps just at the other side up here there's a prefab building I think it's just been released I'm going to put that down on the other side. This side, I think I'm going to make into a uh, parking area for cars. So the staff can park the cars here. I uh, don't know whether it's a tarmac one, which is lined, uh, marked out, or just a gravel, rough, uh, sort of neglected car parking area for the staff of the cement works. Obviously with the siding, it's going to be chain link fenced off and uh, before the weeds and overgrown grass etc. That's the plan, so watch this space. I'll show you some latest rolling stock that's just arrived uh, last week. And I forgot I ordered these actually, uh, to a certain degree. Um, these were ordered July 2016. And I am really impressed with these. These are the first um, models I've had from Oxford Rail. Uh, these are the motor rail car flats and I must say I am really really impressed with the standard of this model uh, I've weathered these uh, just a light brown color uh, as it's been used basically so just a very light spray but the details really good on these um, it's even got you know the the plate when it was made I think these were converted from carriages or something, not sure. It's got the motor rail sign there. These cars didn't come with it. I've just put these on as a demonstration. But it actually comes with a little, I think you call them chop blocks or clamps. These basically, um, very tiny things that come with it. You get a pack each. Uh, there to clamp the cars in place. I think these were strapped down so that the car's moving. Uh, straps the wheels in place. Uh, but these were used, I think, until the 90s, I'm not sure. But they were quite popular on long distance travels in the 70s, um, for taking a car, say, to Scotland or, or down to, to uh, a long distance area. So I've got four of these that arrived from Oxford Rail. I've weathered the whole lot. Also, you have to buy the vehicles separately. But I'm really, really impressed with these models. These are really, really good. Um, I say Oxford Rail have done a good job. Got to probably weather the actual plank area, the surface area. But I uh, say I've got four of these, which is now parked in the siding. These are more vehicles, obviously, but uh, they run really well and they're quite weighty. I've got good weight there, won't come off at all. Um, but also you've got the printed signage there. Uh, no loose shunting, etc. It's got the brackets for the lights, the tail lights, etc. Um, an excellent standard of model. So I just needed weathering, which I did, just lightly. Uh, just show you the box here from one of them. This is a box here, lots of rail, turn it around. It is model number, let's get this right. Uh, 
there's a cone on the back there, car flat motor rail. So the first one from Oxford Rail I've got and I'm quite impressed. I think this company's going to be quite competitive. Just get down to the old section of the layout. Uh, this is the end part of the old section. So basically the track, track curved off here up a small incline towards a bridge. So this has been ripped out completely. You can see where the incline started here. Now I've had a couple of people visit the layout and said this is crying out for a level crossing to the other side of the track there. So this is where the station is. So I've actually bought one. I've got this to build. It's a kit, quite a new kit from Wills. Uh, I've got to redevelop this area. This is where the, um, as you can see, the houses were sited. I've had to move the track as well. So this has got to be ripped out uh, in time and uh, redeveloped into a, another road and level crossing. So that'll be quite interesting. Also going to put a signal box here because you've got the junction to the sidings for the cement work, so it's an ideal place. So, uh, for future videos and updates, this will be another section I'll be working on.